If you've lived here for any length of time, you know there are so many unique and kind of crazy stories attached to Las Vegas. The list seems endless, mm -hmm. even with proof some are hard to believe, like the story of how a plane ended up in the middle of a lake at the country club. Sports director Chris Matthews here with more on that piece of Las Vegas history. Uh, that's what makes it so unique. The stories are countless in this city, and it's only been around for 115 years. Of those years, especially the last 50 or so, boy, in a book of stranger than fiction, you could probably fill a chapter. Like in 1981, the story behind how a Cessna plane ended up in the middle of a golf hazard at the Las Vegas Country Club. The story probably begins here in the clubhouse dining room, where the city's rich and famous made and cut deals, where mobsters and mafia types also hung out and some golfed. Which brings us to how did this plane in 1981 end up in this water hazard? Well, the FBI was conducting overhead surveillance on alleged mafia activity at the club. Jerry Roberts was working there that day. I pick up the phone, I call maintenance. And I said, you got to get out here. There's a, you can believe it. I said, plane just went in the lake. And about that time, I swear it was like in um, two minutes, this guy walks into the golf shop. He says, we got to handle it. He says, just leave everything alone. We got it taken care of. This scene from the movie Casino dramatizing what actually happened. The plane landed, swerved to avoid hitting golfers, and spilled into the water. They had the plane out of here in record time. It's a story just too great not to memorialize. So the owners of the club purchased the exact replica of the original Cessna and placed it in the water, built a plaque, and inscribed the bizarre story with eyewitness accounts, including Jerry's. As the new owners took over, they're like, well, we got to highlight some of this great history that's happened at the course over the years. And so you start trying to go in and pick kind of the more interesting little little stories and tidbits and this is probably top of the list. All right, so the story goes that the FBI pilots were circling for so long they ran out of gas. Boyd is one of many terrific stories that still lives over at the country club. The new owners are embracing that history, thus the plane in the water now. Golf guru Brian Holbert found an old member living in Oregon who shared an entire picture collection, and now they're on display, as you can see behind me right here over at the clubhouse. Guys, back over to you. Chris, I know someone was putting for a birdie that day going, what's with all the noise? Thanks, Chris.